at the head. So anything can happen this morning. Hi, I'm doing the most divine, delectable, gorgeous crepes. Crepes. You have to say crepes because it's French. Bastille days on Tuesday. We are doing a French inspired crepe this morning. So put on your best French accent and we will start cracking. This is a very easy recipe to do. And I was gonna go all highfalutin and do croissant and madeleine. This is what the French love to do. And did you know, it is an official French holiday on the 2nd of February when you're doing crepe, crepes in France. And I think there is a name for that. Um, anyone French out there, let me know. I think it's Chandeleur. The day is Chandeleur. And Chandeleur is your crepe day in France. <laughs> so we are starting with 125 grams of plain flour. In that goes, we have got three bon free range eggs. Now I will give them a little bit of a whisk. On do toi. On do toi. Do 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 do. You must have the French accent when you're doing your crepes today. So we have got three eggs going into our 125 grams of plain flour. Not self-raising flour. We do not want these to rise. Crepes are very, very, very thin pancakes. So in goes our mock three free-range beautiful eggs. We have got 290 mils of semi-milk. Semi-skilled, no-fat milk. Low-fat milk. Why do I bother with the low fat milk? So all I'm doing now is I am combining my flour and my mop free range eggs. And I'm just getting stir, 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 stir. Stir, stir, stir. I am now going to add two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Give it one dum dum. Now, can you see it's getting quite thick? Because what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to add the milk and eggs all together because I didn't want to end it up lumpy. Now, two seconds because I forgot my sugar. I only need two teaspoons of sugar. And all I'm doing is I'm just putting in two teaspoons of sugar. Now, if you're going to make these crepes savoury, if you're going to make them savoury, obviously, don't put in the sugar. And in fact, you don't even need to put in the sugar. I'm just adding a little bit of sweetness. So again, with my skipping rope action. En deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. En deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. In goes Dulé. We've got our milk. We've got a French lesson this morning. And we're giving a whisk, 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 whisk. Now, this pancake, crepe rather, ma'am batter, needs to stay in the fridge for about 30 minutes to develop the gluten. So all I'm doing is I'm making this lovely sugar flour milky eggy soup and this will go into the fridge to snooze. Now look how runny that is. So this is where I don't want you panicking when you see this. Clean as a girl, kaboom, 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 done. So we have our mix, but look, this is how sloppy it is. It's like cream. So don't think for one minute that you're having a panic attack and it's just not working. Okay, this is gonna go into the fridge for 30 minutes. So see, it is very runny. Now, one of the great things when you are going to do with crepes is that what I do, I get a squeezy bottle. So it's fantastic for kids. So anytime you're doing things with chocolate sauces or any uh, batter that's particularly wet, that is going to be used as a crepe or a pancake, put into a squeezy bottle. Fabulous for tiny little hands to control and they can squeeze out small amounts as opposed to spilling it all over the place. Tip for today, treasure's tip. Numero un. <laughs> We've got our squeezy bottle. So, this goes into the fridge for 30 minutes. I have prepared a batter 30 minutes ago. And as you can see, it has a lovely sheen, shine to it. I have preheated and I am christening my new toy. Lads, what do you think of my new toy? My wonderful sister has sent this over to me 
to celebrate Bastille Day on Tuesday and he came just in time. So this could be a train crash because the French use this magnificent machine. If you don't have, obviously, this machine, this is where you have a non-stick pan and you can do exactly the same with your pancake. Tradition goes in the French, in France rather, that if you have your frying pan and if you flip your, your crepe up in the air, you should catch it with your right hand and hold a gold coin in your left. And it's to symbolize richness and wealth and wonderful things to happen. Lads, if I had a gold coin to put in my left hand, that would certainly kickstart the road to richness and fame. So what I have done now is I have preheated this little fabulous crepe machine. We are feeling very French today. And I am smearing a whip at the most divine, delicious Irish butter. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get two ladles, which is about 60 to 80 mils of... I'm going to try this. We're going to try this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, hold. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep the faith, keep the faith, keep fun, keep going. Keep going, show no fear. Do not show any fear to your crepe. You show fear to your crepe and they have one already. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going. See, it's like, it's like a rake. So this is my first time. So let last, this is your first time, we'll have a play. And we just, oh, the smell is divine. of Guy Paris sitting at a table with a beautiful café au lait. Ah, I am doing the crepes on a Sunday morning before Bastille Day. 14th. We have to celebrate the 14th Bastille Day for France. Allez les bleus. So this is where we have a quick look because I can even feel, I can smell that it's cooking beautifully. Now, this is not a pancake because pancakes are a little thicker. The batter is a little thicker. This is so like water that you think it's not going to set, but it does. Look, excited, I'm getting excited. So again, the waft of Gay Paris is wafting in the kitchen with Trish. I do apologize for any French person watching this, okay? This is all said with jest. So again, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. You can see it is cooking, you can see it is cooking, you can see it is cooking. It is cooking up nicely. Want to see if it's nice and brown underneath? It is getting there. Now, don't be tempted to flip it yet, because just, I can see that it's just beginning to have that lovely toastiness around the edge. So look. Oh, yum. Isn't this gas actually as well? All us mothers just put hands on things when it's hot. Children are like this. <gasps> don't touch, don't touch, it's so hot, it's so hot. Calm down, lads, calm down. It's hot, but just be aware that it's hot. Fantastic, so let's see if we can use our gadget. Now, oh, let's. Ooh, ooh. I should bless that, bless that. That is looking amazing. And we have a little gadget here, which turns it up ever so slightly, which is fantastic. I might have a look on Amazon and see if they have this machine, because this is uh, French. Uh, thanks to my wonderful sister who brought it over and sent it to me in time for Bastille Day. So we are having fun. This is a gorgeous recipe, because I have tried a few where they're a bit rubbery. This is lovely. It has a sweetness. It's very delicate and it has this lovely texture. It's not rubbery at all. It is soft and it's delicious. One of the things I think as well at this particular recipe is that because it's not rub rubbery, you have a good balance ratio of your flour to your liquid. If you've too much flour, you'll find that your pancake can get quite rubbery, not great. This, as I said, if you omit your sugar, you can make it savory. 
This is where you could smear it with cream cheese. You could put your smoked salmon, flip it over. But for now, what I'm going to do is I am going to bring over some toppings. I won't use all these toppings, but this is just a suggestion of toppings. So we'll push this to the side. While that is cooking, you can see the little bubbles. And I am just going to do a traditional lemon and sugar for this morning, along with Nutella. So, grab ourselves a lemon. Slice, give it a bit of a squeeze. We have got our sugar. And this is where, omit the lemon pip, tends not to taste, you don't really need it in your crepe. So, tiny bit of sugar on top of the lemon. Now the reason I haven't done it on this side is because I'm going to flip it over. So I'm just going to, oh, let's, let's. Flim. Tiny bit again of sugar, you don't need that much, but about half a teaspoon. And this is the great thing, you can control the amount of sugar. Again. I love this in France because this is where you see them going and it's done about five seconds. This is taking a little bit longer because I have my L plate on this morning. My L plate with my new machine. So again, tiny bit of my lemon, minus my pip. Tiny bit more sugar. One more. Listen. Sprinkling of yum. So again, when you are doing it, give your machine, give your frying pan a wipe. So you're clearing any excess. This is a non-stick. So use a non-stick pan or you will tear your hair out. Again, tiny bit of butter. Blob. Using some kitchen paper, rotate it around your frying pan. And this is where you can tilt and rotate your frying pan. I just have a posh machine and I'm so excited to use it. Thank you, Dee. Fabulous. And again, we have got about 80 mils. You'd use about 80 mils if you're going for the, the 12 inch diameter. And then you would use about 60 mils if it's going to be for a 10 inch. Whoa. Doesn't matter if it goes over the side, who cares? As I said, come on lads, don't show any fear. This is a technique I am not used to. So we just, I've slopped it over the sides. Doesn't matter. It doesn't because you can clean as you go, so there's no panic. So that's now while that's cooking, I think I'll just get on it. <laughs> I'm Nutella ready. So this is where my sister does not like Nutella. Poison for kids. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I would eat this jar with a spoon right to the very end. I I love my Nutella. So again, just smell. Dun, 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 dun. Just get in around the edges. Just because I have slopped a beautiful amount down there. But I'm a buffered. I'm a buffered. Now, I'm not too sure. It depends on the mood on Lucy. If there's any comments coming in controversial, I don't know. Lucy might be tempted to see if there's anyone saying hello. I do realise that Cahill is out there. Good morning, Cahill. Jude Ward, you were out there as well. Absolutely. And Leslie, good morning to you. Because I did spot you just before we started. And I will get my comments eventually. Lucy, can I put you on the spot? Is there anything strange or startling? Is there anything that says, oh my God, Trish, I've won the lotto and I'm sitting here in the Four Seasons in Dublin having crepes for breakfast and yours are nicer. <laughs> so we will have a look <laughs> and see. Let's have a look. Ooh, lovely. Oh, look at that, lads. You have got, and look, it's, I don't know if you can hear that. It's sort of a, and then it's cooking away. You've got this. We should have some French music in the background just to keep the momentum going. So this is where, as it's cooking, I am going to get my Nutella. 
And the beauty about Nutella, when it's lovely and soft, is when you plop it onto your crepe, it is also going to melt away on top. But we're going to fold it over like our envelope. And just like that, look, it's even beginning to melt. Because it doesn't matter. Why am I whispering? Because this is like talking to the gods. It is like talking to the crepe gods. You are just putting a little amount because we're going to sandwich it. I could be doing this all morning. How the lads do this in about four seconds over in Guy I do not know. Oh, the smell of the chocolate. So just like that, I'm going to fold that over. And then fold it over again. Oh, 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 no wonder the French sing all the time if they're eating crepes in the morning and crepes in the afternoon and crepes in the evening. Now you could do this with ham, you could do this with cheese, you could experiment with thyme by putting it into your batter. So you've got this gorgeous savoury crepe. So just like that, you have got, I'll get another plate. The most divine, delectable. Nutella, and then even just to finish it off, even with something like that, you could fill this with banana. So having your banana, get a little grate, and then just give it a kick of some grated chocolate, a scoop of vanilla, ice cream, a shaky, shaky, shaky of icing sugar, and kaboom, you've got a Nutella crepe. So lads, I've created some chaos and mess this morning. Nutella and banana. I'm going to have one in a few minutes with some frozen berries, some Greek yogurt and some honey. So as I'm making my crepe, you can do it in your frying pan. Get creative. Fill with fruit, fill with yogurt and honey and nuts go mad. Lads, that was my inspiration for Bastille Day on Tuesday. I shall see you next week Sunday.